Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmor. This is video number seven, and we're gonna be talking about the tremolo. I figured that a dedicated video for the tremolo was a cool idea because it's actually a very cool feature, and there's a little bit more than meets the eye, even though it is three knobs, it can do a lot of cool different things. So, tremolo is gonna be located kind of in the middle left of the uh, of the synth where the unison kind of was. So if we go to unison up in the left, then we're gonna find the tremolo. So first off, we have these three knobs. None of them have the articulators, but all of them can be automated. So keep that in mind if you don't do any automation with those. So let's load up a default patch and let's take a listen to this. So our first one is gonna be depth. Now, as you notice, it's basically gonna be almost a pulsing between the left and the right speaker. And the further depth we go, it's gonna be a more drastic intensity. And the next off of that, we have a speed knob. So all the way to the left is going to be 16, mil or 16 milliseconds, and all the way to the right is going to be 16 seconds. So quite a, a big span of time. I kind of wish they had a feature to, to sync this up, but I guess you can do that in an automation clip maybe or something or really time it right. But it would have been cool if there was an option to do that. But anywho, the really cool magic, I think, is in this gap knob right here. So let's put this in a kind of a noticeable way. So if the gap is at noon, it's going to do what it's been doing the whole time. If we turn this all the way down to the bottom at zero, it's going to basically pulse in a mono sense. And this is noticeable to look here in the vector scope here. That's where a lot of the information is going to be. So we can see that's just pulsing in the center channel. Now the really cool part is if we have this maybe somewhere to our left here, say 90 degrees for example, it's going to kind of move in a counterclockwise fashion. It's a very strange effect and then if we go to the right it's going to do the opposite. So this knob here is kind of the meat and potatoes of the gap. You can really make someone feel sick if you put this on for a while. It can also be very useful for different types of sound effects. But yeah, so that's basically the tremolo in a nutshell. It's a very cool feature. Definitely play, play around with the gap knob. Has a lot of a lot of fun features. Hopefully you'll find something cool with it. So that's the end of this video, and we'll see you in the next one.